Hi everyone, so this video I will just present you 10 of my favorite intro for piano. Uh, actually, I could have chosen 100 because there are so many, but I just decided I uh, focused on, on 10. Uh, of course, it's again subjective and an intro is also difficult and a bit subjective, but uh, let's go for it. The difficult one that I, can, that I cannot sight read, I will just put a video of a pianist I like who played and the more easy one or the one I practice, I will just play them myself. So number one is Mozart Fantasy in C minor. It's one of my favorite work of Mozart and the way he opens this work is a bit like an opera. then starts a whole melodic part, uh, but I decided to keep 30 seconds more or less for every piece. The next one is his Piano Concerto uh, number 23, so that's KV uh, 488, the slow movement of it, which is a legendary slow movement, very famous because it's such a particular solo part, the way he's starting, jumping, the surprises he's creating. and then enters one of the nicest parts for orchestra. So I had like two composers, um, two pieces of each of a composer every time and try to have it chronologically so it's not by order of difficulty. The next one would be Beethoven. So one of the most famous opening or piano concerto is Beethoven number no. 4 because he starts with piano solo which uh, never happened or almost never happened uh, before him and actually he will not really do it. He the fifth he is kind of starting, the fifth is after. Orchestra. The next one is his fifth piano concerto. So, like number four, he's starting with the piano. Uh, there is just a bit longer and it's a kind of cadence where he's improvising a bit. for the small mistakes, that's one I never practiced. Not that easy to sight read. So then I go to Chopin, still chronological. Chopin first scares or actually has a very strong opening. It's a kind of a destiny uh, call with these two first chords.
one of the tragic and very strong Chopin scare zone. Another piece that I really love from Chopin, that most, most of people love from Chopin, and that has a very special and strong opening, is his Barcarolle Opus 60. It's one of the very late works of Chopin. Then next I would go to Liszt. First piano concerto I think is a very strong opening too. It has these challenging octaves that I played actually a long time ago, 10, 20 years ago and 15 years ago. I uh, still remember the octaves, but then the next part I will put someone, an or, uh, someone like Argerich or something because it's difficult chords that I cannot play anymore. It starts like this. Then another list piece that stars very strongly, that actually is also globally a very strong work, that I remember as a teenager I was obsessed with these bass that are very dissonant and very low, you cannot really hear which note it is in the low register of the piano, I think it's very nice. The funerai of Liszt. The last two ones are Rachmaninoff. So Rachmaninoff's second piano concerto has a very strong beginning too with these chords that are called the bells of Moscow, I think, with these chords and this bass coming bass, uh, back also. It's very, it's very strong, very typical, famous beginning. And then the last one of this series is Second Piano Sonata, who has a very strong beginning too, and I will put a, a recording of this one because that's one that's very difficult to sight read, but that I love to start like this. of the strongest piano beginning introduction uh, in my opinion. Let me know what you think about, uh, if you thought some other might be really great. I'm sure there's a huge list of beginning uh, intros of piano that are fascinating and that are really strong. 
Um, I just had a quick thought of it, but I'm sure if I think about about one week, I will find other ones. Um, and then let me know if you like this ranking chronologically, if we, or, or if you thought it would be a better ranking by difficulty. But this difficulty ranking I will find very tricky because it's also very personal, and I don't know the works enough to really be able to say which one is difficult. And would you talk only be about the difficulty of the intro or the difficulty of the whole work? That's why I thought maybe by difficulty is not the best ranking today. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Um, welcome for your comments. Be nice with the comments, I will answer and uh, see you next video. Bye.